problems on the 668 machine. He falls back very far so far. Kyle Thompson coming up turn number four. Going to lead lap number one. Lap number one. All right, trying to get my bearings. Cars came out before we were ready. Thompson, the 292, had a four tenths of a second lead last time by over number 33 of Steve Muhlenberg. Caution coming out here for Michael Gillis. Gillis was running in that fourth spot at the time. Kyle Thompson, your current leader here. 14 laps to go, one in the books. Garrett Thompson, already moving from that fifth spot up to third. Dean Bell from seventh to fifth. One down, 14 to go here. Kyle Thompson out front of this thing. Steve Muhlenberg and Garrett Thompson right behind him. Green flag, here we go. Lights are out, we're ready to get it on here. They're bumping and banging to watch out. Dean Bell back there in the middle of the pack. Making it three wide as Darren Burke gets around him on the underside. 668, 100 Stutzman. Fell back a little bit on the start. Stutzman gets it back lined out. He's right on the back bumper. Right there in that fifth spot, right behind Eli Muhlenberg. Bell having problems riding the lip there. Jesse Stovall is going to be mad at you for destroying his cushion. Kyle Thompson out front of this thing here by seven tenths of a second over Steve Muhlenberg in the number 33M. Garrett Thompson up to that third spot, looking all over the back bumper of the number 33. Stutzman on the bottom side of Eli Muhlenberg here. Muhlenberg able to motor on past him. Kyle Thompson wins last week, trying to make it two in a row, Garrett Thompson. Finished second last week. He'll move up to second now here on lap number five. Muhlenberg not going anywhere there. See Muhlenberg right on his back bumper. Does a little crossover move. He's on the bottom side. They bump, they hit. They're going into turn number three. Muhlenberg hits the cushion. Jesse's going to be mad at you now. Looking at our Midwest Sheet Metals replay here. Looks like Muhlenberg just went in just a little bit too hot. Almost collecting Thompson there. We're on lap number six. Kyle Thompson, your leader. Garrett Thompson in that second spot. Eli Muhlenberg going to move up to that third position. 668 at Hunter Stutzman. Muhlenberg, winner of a few here at Mona Motor Speedway this year, going to drop out here on lap number six. Kyle Thompson, Garrett Thompson, a one and two. Eli Muhlenberg, Hunter Stutzman, and Darren Burt, your top five. Still under caution here. Not going green quite yet.
Darren Burt dropping out as well there. He was running six, not sure what's going on. Able to make it back onto the track right in time. Lights are out. We're going green flag racing next time by. He could be in full speed if he put times it just right. Two ninety two. Kyle Thompson, your pace setter as they come off a of turn number four. Green flag. Here we go. Not a good restart for the twenty five machine. Eli Muhlenberg going to fall back to fourth there. Hunter Stutz been up to that third spot. Talking to Garrett Thompson on Messenger this week, he said he wants to improve his spot by one. He's looking to do that as he's on the inside of brother Garrett Thompson. Kyle Thompson, rather. Kyle Thompson on the top side, Garrett Thompson on the bottom. Kyle Thompson with the preferred line up top. Watch out the 60, 668 machine of Hunter Stutzman. Look at her ruin. They're all Thompson party here. Kyle Thompson out front by two tenths of their second. Over Garrett Thompson, then a 929. Garrett gonna take another run down the bottom side. Can't quite clear him. Let's see if he can get it here on lap uh, number six. Uh, still side by side, Garrett Thompson, Kyle Thompson. Garrett on the bottom side, score is your leader that last time by. Boyd looking good, going into turn three and four. Garrett Thompson on the bottom side, if he can move up. You got him clear, my boy. Garrett Thompson, your new leader, Kyle Thompson, that's like a spot, Hunter Suitsman in third, Eli. Muhlenberg and Michael Gillis, your top five. Thompson's kind of break away from everybody else. Watch out. Hey, take a look back to the back here. We got three car battle for that fourth spot. Steve Muhlenberg jumping two cars in one lap there. Still fighting off Eli Muhlenberg. Eli on the bottom side. Gillis way too high. He hits that berm. Say green flag race. Boy, all this excitement around the track. Take a look off of turn number four. You're looking at the white flag, my friends. Garrett Thompson, your leader. Garrett Thompson with a one second lead over Kyle Thompson that last time around. Hunter Suitsman in that third spot. He said he was gonna do it and he did it, ladies and gentlemen. Big round of applause for Garrett Thompson in the 929. Kyle Thompson coming in that second spot. Hunter Stutzman in third. Steve Muhlenberg and Eli Muhlenberg rounding out your top five. He told me he was going to do it, and he did it. 929, and Garrett Thompson taking the win here in your Napa Parts Power Ride Midwest Modified A feature. Kyle Thompson, the 929, and brother Garrett Thompson swips spots from last week. Garrett taking the win there. Kyle Thompson finishing second. Hunter Stutzman in that 668 machine finishing third. Steve Muhlenberg making his way back up to that fourth spot. And Eli Muhlenberg rounding out your top five. Excellent racing for Napa Auto Parts. Power Ride Midwest Modifieds. Again, after the races, everybody stick around. We're going to bring all the winners onto the front stretch. And you'll get to take your pictures with the cars and have a good old time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time for your pure stock A feature. 
Starting on the pole is going to be the number 71 machine out of Fairgrove, Missouri, Mr. Chris Donnelly. On his outside, looking for win number 10. The number 25 of Dale Centers out of Castle, Missouri. Inside a row. Number two, going to be the 34C out of Joplin, Missouri. It's Lenny Coates. On his outside, the 21H machine of Kevin Yon out of Springfield, Missouri. Inside row number three, Mr. Sean Coates in that beautiful black number 34 machine. Going to start in that fifth spot on his outside. Going to be a 714 of Dustin Isaacs coming all the way from Ava, Missouri. And starting in the rear there, Dean Kimberling in number 54. And on his outside, current points leader, the number 69 of Dylan Bowman. Green flag being brought to you by Freedom Bank. We're heading off into turn number one. Tonnelly on the inside, centers on the outside. Centers trying his best not to fall behind. Chris Tonnelly in the number 71, working that middle lane. Watch out, Lenny Coates. Getting around number 25 of Dale Centers there. Coates moving up to that second spot. Dale Center's fighting back on the outside. They're side by side. Watch out. Sean Coates wants to enter the chat here. He's on the bottom side of Lenny Coates. Father, son racing, and we've got him spinning back there. What a... Joplin Lock and Key caution being brought to you by Joplin Lock and Key. 7 to 14 of Dustin Isaacs is running six at the time. Excellent racing here. Chris Tonnelly out front all by himself. Almost had a whole second lead over the 34C of Lenny Coates. Lenny Coates going to the bottom side. Coates to the bottom side. That'll put Dale Centers on his outside. Kevin Young can go to the inside. Sean Coates on his outside. No advantage, no helping here. Green flag. We've hit that Ozark Fiber Restart Zone. We're green flag racing once again here in our Pierce Stock A feature. Chris Tonnelly out front. Lenny Coates. Been told he was going around town looking for the best setups. I think he's got it. He's up to that second spot right now, getting around Mr. Dale Sinners. Sean Coates right behind him. Three car battle for that second spot. Coates, Sinners, Coates. Meanwhile, out front, the 71 of Chris Tonnelly. Whoa, watch out, Sean. Gets a little bit. Gets a little bit wild there in top of turn number four. Sinners looking to go around the top side of Lenny Coates. Coates shuts him off. Tonnelly out front by 1.228 seconds over the 34C of Lenny Coates. They are getting wild in the back. 34 machine to Sean Coates. I don't know if he's just a little bit loose or what's going on, but. He's looking to get around the 714 machine of Dustin Isaacs there on the bottom side. Dean Kimberling worth three wide. Chris Tonley in the 71 out front by 1.713 seconds. Meanwhile, we are watching this battle. <laughs> Sorry, Tombo. Tonley can do whatever he wants out front. He's doing exactly what he needs to do. Centers trying to plan it perfectly, trying to get around that Lenny Coates machine. Starting to reel him in there, working that high side. Lenny Coates doing a good job. Oh, watch out. Good timing. Whoa, watch out. <laughs> Josh Sharpley 
up on the mountain, didn't flinch one bit. I bet that's going to be an awesome shot from Unforgotten Shots. Donnelly leads another one. We are eight laps in the books, just past our halfway point. Donnelly, Lenny Coates, and Dale Sinners, your top three. Kevin Yaunt, Dean Kimberling rounding out your top five. Sinners again looking at that top side. Sinners with the advantage on the bottom, looking to go to the underside here of Coates. Coach just too fast. Mm -hmm. Run on the top side. We're going to take a look to the underside. Coach falling to the rear there, just having a tough time with that 34 machine tonight. Looking good in the hot laps and heat races and feature time. Dale Center's just three tenths of a second behind the 34C of Lenny Coates there. Lenny Coates, another four seconds back. Still side by side, fighting for that second spot. Center's not giving up that easy. Sinners almost got him. Lenny Coates stays on the back bumper of the 25. We'll see if Sinners lap times get any faster here as it gets around Coates. They do about a whole second faster. Sean Coates going to go ahead and take it off the track there. You see him on the top side of one and two. Liddy Coates, meanwhile, got that thing uh, whipped out. White flag coming out for your leader here. The 71 of Chris Tomley out front of this deal. 714 of Isaacs pulls it off the track as well. 71 of Chris Tonnelly. Goes down the back stretch through three and four. Nobody taking it from him. Comes off a of turn number four. Takes that Wesco Home Furnishings checkered flag. Your winner, the 71 of Chris Tonnelly. Oh, Lenny Coates spinning right there at the end. I need to go clean off your front stretch camera. Got a little mud on it. Chris Tonnelly, ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for the 71. Chris Tonnelly taking the win there, Dale Sinners. Dale Sinners coming in that second spot. Kevin Yant finishing third. Dean Kimberling and Dylan Bowman are rounding out your top five. He laps the distance. <laughs> Air. Starting on the pole is going to be the number 31 machine of Kai Blight all the way from Australia. On his outside going to be Tyler Kai Kindle in that 8K machine. Inside row number two. Inside row number two is going to be Chris Wilhite in the number 21. On his outside, the number seven of Cole Wells. Inside row number three, Jackson on the corner. J on his outside. Ryan Johnson in the J. Seven J, rather. Inside row number four, going to be Matt Minzy in the 29 machine on his outside. The number 45 of Marvin Forrest. Inside row number five, Steve Johnson in the number 11 machine on his outside. Eric Perry in the 22. Inside a row, a number six. Sean Eggman in the 18 machine on his outside. Steve still in that 87. And starting in the rear, number 98 of Justin Wells on his outside. Glenn Powell in the 26P. Blight, Kai Kendall, row number one. Let's get it on! 
Five light with the lead on the top side, running deep into the 15s when he was doing hot laps there. Doing hot laps, racing hot laps there, Chris. Kai Blight, your leader here, coming off of turn number four. He's going to lead lap number one, Tyler. Kai Kittle in that second spot. Chris Wilhite in third. Blight out front by seven tenths of a second. Tyler Kai Kendall in that 8K machine already falling back fast. Jack Snurdle in that third spot. Cole Wells, Ryan Johnson rounding out your top five. My goodness, that guy is on another level out front. Kai Kendall on that 8K machine, just 1.2 seconds back. Watch out for the 21 of Chris Wilhite going underneath the bottom side. Of the number seven of Cole Wells gets under him for four spot caution coming out here. Johnson in the number 11 going around top of one and two. Kai Blight is your leader. Flagman Chip Avramowitz gives him the signal for green next time by. Want to remind all race fans to stay back off the fence during racing. Again, all race fans, please stay back off the fence during racing. We need you back. We're ready to get this thing started again. Kai Blight. Brings them around three and four, wheel to wheel, door to door. Here they come off three and four. Let's get it on. Heading into one and two, Kai Blight still dominant out front. Watch out, we're gonna be three wide for second as we come through. Through three and four. Cole on the bottom side. Jack Snurdle right there in the middle. Kai Blight out front of this thing. Two seconds already over that 8K of Tyler. Kai Kimmichol was in that third spot. Jackson Ertl rounding out your top five. We got a battle. Look out, boy, that 21 of Chris Wilhite climbs up to that fourth spot. Getting around Jackson in the corner, Jay. He's got Paul Wells in his sights now here on lap number five. Cole getting hunted as he goes down the backstretch. Wheel height in that 21 was spinning on the backstretch. We'll stay green flag racing. Blight making his way around the lap. A vehicle there. Steve Still goes a lap down. Kai Blight in the 31 machine out front. Kai Kildall in that second spot. We're going to go ahead and throw a caution here. Here's our Midwest Sheet Metals a replay here. Oh, he got dumped. I'm not going to name any names. I'll leave that guessing game up to you there. I imagine there'll be some uh, black flag shaking, maybe. There you see it again, getting spun. Tough break for the 7J of Ryan Johnson. Meanwhile, out front, Kai Blight in that number 31 machine. 
He was 3.777 seconds ahead of the 8K of Tyler Kai Kendall Cole Wells in that third spot fighting with Chris Wilhite Jr. in the number 21. Jack Snurdle rounding out your top five. We're lights out, ladies and gentlemen. Five down, 15 to go. Will Heights ready to get this thing stored. Blight ready, rather. We are green up flag racing again. Here we go. Kai Blight now at number 31 machine. Then goes back to a three car battle. Watch out, the 21 of Chris Will Height. Coming in hot. Will High gets around Cole. Running that bottom side, catfishing around. He's got Tyler Kai Kendall is in his sights now. Looking to take away that second spot away from Kai Kendall. Tyler Blight out front by 1.746. Then it goes back to a two car battle. Chris Will Height Jr. on the bottom side. Tyler Kai Kittle on the top side. Halfway through our Dirt Triple Way Model A feature side by side. We are fighting for second. Blight out front. The longer these two fight for that second spot, the further away Kai Blight gets. Running a 17.254 that last time by. These guys are only running 17 and a half second laps. Bide your time. Do you wait till you get closer to the end? You've only got nine to go right now. Tyler Kai Kendall holding on to that second spot over Chris Will Height, Junior Colwells in that fourth spot. Martin Inzi in fourth. Problems. Never mind that black car going two laps down now. That number 87 of Steam Still. Kai Blight. Still your current leader here, 13 in the books. Seven to go. Tyler Kai Kendall in that second spot, Chris Wahite Jr. Not a whole lot of distance between your second and third. But Blight is out front by 3.3 seconds already. Caution coming out here. Right there in the Turn number three, entryway to turn three. Can't tell what car it is. Just to your right there, Tombo. Yeah, there you go. 22 machine. Give me a 22 machine of Eric Perry. He gets her fired back up. We'll get him back in lot. Again, caution flag being brought to you by Joplin Lock and Key. Kai Blight was leading by 3.315 that last time by over the 8K of Tyler Kai Kendall. Kai Kendall and Will Height Jr. have an excellent battle for that second spot. Will Height Jr. Porter, you are behind the falls back. 26. They're probably faster apart than they ever were together. Cole Wells in that fourth spot. Matt Menzi moving up to that fifth spot. Quarter J of Jackson Earl in six, Sean Eggerman, Marvin Forrest, Eric Perry, and Steve still rounding out your top five. Again, we are 14 laps in the book, six to go here in your super, super late model series. Tyler Kai Kendall electing to go to the inside here. That'll put Chris, Chris Will Height Jr. On his outside, Cole Wells inside to row number three. Matt Menzi on his outside. Fourteen down, six to go. A lot of excellent racing so far. Does anybody have anything for the Australian champion? The 31 of Kai Blight.
The lights are out. We're ready to get it on here at Motor, Motor Speedway. A week number 18 here. Two weeks away from the Larry Phillips Memorial Race. Green flag, here we go. Excellent restart, Kai Kendall on that bottom side. Able to gather it back up in time. Boy, these guys are just so fast here. Can that Kai Blight? Slow down, please. Can he slow down? Because we got a caution. Joplin Lock and Key being brought to you by the 22. Once again, that's the second caution for the 22 machine. We will probably end up sending him to the back. Lights out again. Kai Blight out front. Eric Perry taking it to the back after two spins. Again, we're on lap number 14 of 20. Green flag, here we go. We're bunching up. Once again, Eric Perry shot out of a rocket. He makes his way around three and four. Chris Will Height Jr. assuming that second spot this time. Tyler Kai Kendall's got everything to say about that. Look at that run off of two. He's right on Will Height's back bumper. Gonna hold on to that top side. Kai Kendall, Will Height. Kai Kendall looks to the bottom side. Will Height protecting the top. Kai Kendall. Side jump, they get together. Tough break for your third place car. It happens to him again. These guys battle everywhere they go. Gonna be some tough feelings on that one. Kai Blight still out front of this thing. Hate to see a good battle end like that. A little body damage there on the Kai Kendall machine. Thank you to Tommy Boy getting them all fixed up back there. Four laps, they're single file. Thank you, Tommy Boy. Go to your spot behind, uh, all right, we'll get Kai Kendall back in his spot. Going to be a single file restart if you can hear our race director in the background. Lights are out, ready to get it on. Gonna be four to go when we get back to racing here. 16 down, four to go. Single file, 
White, Kai Kendall, Wells, Menzi, and Ertl. Your top five, let's get it on! Going that far outside, could have been a mistake by Kai Kendall on the restart. Watch out, Cole Wells on his bottom side. Kai Kendall got it in hand, though. Kai Blight out front, Tyler Kai Kendall back to a second spot. Cole Wells in that third position. Watch out for a hard charging Ryan Johnson. Matt Menzi in that top five. Johnson using that very tippy top. Trying to find some moisture in the track here. Find that traction to get around Cole. He's got a good runoff of one and two. White flag coming out for your leader, Kai Blight. My goodness, that man is on rails in that 31 machine. Get low, sir. You got the leader right behind you. Kai Kendall. Woo, he almost messed up that second spot. I told you Johnson wasn't coming. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the 31 coming all the way from Australia. Kai Blight with the win. Kai Blight running a fastest lap of 16.797. Tyler Kai Kendall barely coming in that second spot there by one one thousandth of a second ahead of Ryan Johnson in that 7J. Hard charging Ryan Johnson going from fifth to third there in the last couple laps. Cole Well finishing in that fourth spot and Matt Menzi rounding out your top five. Ladies and gentlemen, was it worth it? Was it worth the price of admission? I think it was. Your dirt super late models putting on a heck of a show for us here at Monat Motor Speedway. Friday feature. This is going to be a good one, too. Here we got Trevor Drake starting on the pole in the 7L. Come on. On his outside, the number 56 machine of Hoyt Miller, all the way from Cross Timbers, Missouri. Inside a row number two is going to be John Sheets in that 8S on his outside. Matt Thompson in the 31 machine. Inside row number three is going to be Kelly Chick Hicks in number 32 on his outside. The number 21 of Jackie Dalton. Terry Williams and Steve Mielenberg inside and outside of row number four. Kenny Nutter, Brennan Baum, Patrick Lewis, and Sam McCracken. Let's get it on. Hoyt Miller to the lead on the outside. Trevor Drake and John Sheets left to fight for what's left. Hoyt Miller out the top of four. Hoyt Miller going to lead lap number one here. Inner David Sons USA B modified A feature. Trevor Drake just five tenths of a second behind in that 7L machine. John Sheets right behind him. Top three start to break away just a little bit. Then you got four and five by themselves. Four and five being Matt Thompson and Jackie Dalton. And then after that, the rest of the field. And now you know the rest of the field. Second and third battling it out here. Drake and Sheets. Hoyt Miller, now that he's out front, got nobody to contend with. Just keep turning off them fast laps, my boy. 18.874, looking for a second win of the year. Keeps extending that lead out, 1.212 that last time by. Running that top side. Trevor Drake running that top side as well. John Sheets all over the back bumper of that 7L machine. Falls back just a little bit, coming off of turn number two. Lost a little momentum there. Then you look back to the fourth spot there. That's going to be Matt Thompson and Jackie Dalton. Jackie Dalton had fallen off just a little bit. 
Johnson doing his best to reel in that second group. Let's see, any other good battles on the track? Right now we got the 27 battling with the 24L. That's gonna be for that eighth spot. Good battle right there, you see. Muhlenberg and Kenny Nutter. Meanwhile, out front, coming across the flag stand now here, Hoyt Miller out front by a whole second and a half. It's Trevor Drake. It's starting to reel him in here. John Sheets falls back to that second group. 1.429 the distance between Trevor Drake and Hoyt Miller last time by. Hoyt stretches it out just another tenth of a second. John Sheets a whole another three and a half seconds back. Matt Thompson, Jackie Dalton are right behind him, rounding out your top five. Little time made up there by Trevor Drake in that 7L machine, running a 14, a 1.447. Running a faster lap than Hoyt Miller. Hoyt Miller better not be out for a Sunday drive here. Nothing's done until it's done. Not until the fat Joshua sings. Good battle there. Jackie Dalton looking on the underside of Matt Thompson. That's going to be for the fourth spot. Dalton fighting on the inside here as we work lap number 15. Five to go. Sorry, four to go now. And it may be lap 11. I'm not good at numbers, so uh, we'll just continue. Whoa, we got a spin there in turn number three and four. We got them going off the edge. Right in front of the leader. Coming out for the nine, a Brennan bomb. Hoyt Miller getting his spot back as he was trying to avoid the caution there. Trevor Drake in that second spot. John Sheets in third. 31 machine of Matt Thompson and Jackie Dalton. Fourth and fifth. We are 10 laps in the books of 15. Five to go. Lights are out. We're going to stay single files the last five laps of the feature here. Fifty-six machine of Hoyt Miller, your pace setter here. Starting a fastest average lap of the class, nineteen point one one nine. John Sheets and. In that 8S machine running just a little bit faster average than your second place of Trevor Drake. But it doesn't matter because he's in second. Not going green quite yet. Not sure for the reason. Adessa Sheets taking it to the back, not sure why. Not going green quite yet. He's flashing the yellow. Yeah. 
Not sure what the problem is on the 8S machine of sheets. Now the lights are out. Now we're going to get this thing finished here. Hoyt Miller, Trevor Drake, Thompson, Dalton, and Steve Muhlenberg. Now your top five. Green flag, here we go. Hoyt Miller being challenged by Trevor Drake here. Side by side through one and two. Hoyt Miller with the advantage. Great run off the two. Jackie Dalton right behind that number 31 machine of Matt Thompson. He's going to try for that third spot. Both your leaders, not both your leaders, your leader and your second place call running away high in both corners. Point Miller out front by six tenths of a second that last time by over the 7 and Trevor Drake. Matt Thompson in third spot. He's got Jackie Dalton on his bottom side. Jackie trying to take that third spot away. 31 of Thompson holds on for one more lap. We are 12 laps. The book's going to be two to go this next time by. Hoyt Miller going to lead another one here. Two phalanges in the air. Trevor Drake. In that second spot, Jackie Dalton makes it up to the third. Matt Thompson, Steve Muhlenberg, your top five. Right flag in the air for your leader, number 56. Oh, Hoyt Miller. Run a pretty good race so far. Almost perfect. Making his way down the back stretch here. Heading off into turn number three and four. Trevor Drake gonna throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Who's gonna take it? Gonna be the 56 of Hoyt Miller taking home the win. Checkered flag again being brought to you by West Home Furnishings, 819 US Highway 60 minute. We're gonna be extending our 12 hour sale. We had a 12 hour sale. This past Saturday, we're going to be extending it all next week, and we invite you to come in. Again, Hoyt Miller in the 56 machine taking home the win. Second win of the season there. Trevor Drake, a close second. Jackie Dahl finishing third. Matt Thompson and Steve Muhlenberg rounding out your top five. Kenny, Kenny Nutter finishing in that sixth spot. Patrick Lewis, Terry Williams, seven and eight. Kelly Chick Hicks and Brennan Baum are rounding out your top 10. Excellent racing again there. It is time for your INEX Legends. A feature, ladies and gentlemen. All right, lights are out. Ready to get this thing on. Tanner Foster, you're. Pole sitter on his outside, going to be the number 57 of Phil Bricky Bile Jr. Inside row number two is going to be Michael Seitz. In the number 11 on his outside, Zerny Vest in the 85. Inside row number three, Dave Smith. In the 38 on his outside, Kenny Foster in number 55. Evan Pyle, Smoke Metcalf side by side in row number four. Brad Smith, Peyton Pyle, row number five. And Kaylee Smith in the rear of this thing. Green flag, here we go. Michael Seitz already up to that second spot. Tanner Foster out front. Problems on the 57 machine. But Phil Berkey, Bob Jenner, he's slow on that top side. Number 70 machine also pulling to the inside. That's going to be Brad Smith. Sims, rather. Michael Seitz out front of this thing here. Caution flag coming out. Tough break for Phil Berkey Bile Jr. But his car does match the Joplin Lock and Key caution flag. Again, caution flag being brought to you here on 
on lap at number one. Michael Seitz, your leader in the number 11 here. Tanner Foster. Tanner Foster inside row number two. Kenny Foster on his outside, coming from that fifth spot. Don't you give me attitude. Seitz in row number one. Foster, Foster, row uh, number two. Pyle and Smith, row number three. Again, one lap down here in your INX Legends A feature. Michael Seitz brings them around three and four, hits that lap pedal. Here we go. Green flag being brought to you by Freedom Bank. Michael Seitz out front here. Tanner Foster in that second spot right behind him. Tanner Foster just right behind my man. Sights as he works his inside here. All over the back bumper. They're bumping and banging, going through one and two. That's going to be a little body damage, I bet. Sights out front by just one tenth of a second over Tanner Foster. Foster, your current points leader. Michael Seitz looking for his first one here at Mutter Mutter Speedway in the INX Legends this season. Tanner Foster looking to the outside, loses some ground for it. Good run for Seitz off the bottom of two. Michael Seitz, the number 11 year current leader, coming off a of turn number four here. Tanner Foster, Evan Pyle rounding out your top three. Peyton Pyle, Kenny Foster. That is your top five. Eight laps to go here for your leader, number 11, Kenny. Kenny? Michael Seitz. Seitz out from by almost a whole second over the number one of Tanner Foster. Do I grade that in just regular car distance? or like little INX legend cars. It's 46 INX legend cars lead for Michael Seitz. Translates to eight tenths of a second. Over the number one of Tanner Foster, Evan Pyle, Peyton Pyle, and Zerny Vess. Zerny uh, jumping into your top, top five. Number 70 again there with problems. That's Brad Sims. He pulls to the inside with Phil Berkey Biles Jr. I'm trying to watch this run here. A fourth place Peyton Pyle. He's got a good run on Evan Pyle. For, that's going to be for that third spot. Let's see what he does through one and two here, running that high side. Don't even have to let off. Let's see how his run goes. Not as good that time, but... Going to be three laps to go here for Michael Seitz, your leader out front of this thing here in your INX Legends. Tanner Foster in that second spot. Evan Pyle, Peyton Pyle. Closest battle on the track is going to be for that third spot. And they're about half a second away from each other for now. Two phalanges in the air here. Michael Seitz can feel it in his bones. Almost a whole straightaway lead here. He looks to get around Smoke Metcalf as he looks for the white flag here. 
Looking at the bottom side of Smoke, he'll get around the double zero. Down the back stretch he goes. Keep it straight, my boy. You can do it. Coming off of turn number four, taking the West Go Home Furnishings checkered flag. Michael Sykes with the win. 2.704 seconds over the number one of Tanner Foster. Ladies and gentlemen, stand up, give it up for the number 11 of Michael Seitz taking home the win. Tanner Foster finishing in that second spot. Peyton Powell getting around Evan Powell. Peyton finishing third. Evan Powell finishing fourth. And Zuri Vess rounding out your top five. Our current points leader, 930 at James DeWitt out of Pineville, Missouri. On his outside is going to be Jesse Parmley in the number 82. Coming all the way from Neosha, Missouri. Inside row number two is going to be Michael Grosbeck in the 32G. On his outside going to be the number 66, the Z66 of Zachary Riddick. Inside row number three is going to be Michael Gillis in the 33 machine. On his outside, Jack Hammer in the number 14. Inside row number four is going to be Daryl Riddick in the number 29 machine. On his outside, Larry Jordan in the number 10 and starting in the rear. The number 82X of Evan Clark able to make it back out. We're ready to get it on. Big thank you to Iowa Fire Equipment Company. A big sponsor here for Show Me Dirt, one of the best in the business, hands down. DeWitt brings him around three and four, hits that loud pedal. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Three wide in the rear once again. James went out front of this thing, Parmley in that second spot. Parmley gets a little bit sideways with it. 32G machine of Grosbeck takes over that second spot. I'm telling you, hang around. This is going to be a good one by the time we're all said and done. James DeWitt in the ninth, 30 going to lead lap. Number one, Michael Grosbeck in the 32G in that second spot. Parmley in third. And the Z66 of Zachary Riddick. He, you could touch all your top four cars right there together. Watch out. They're getting together. They're bumping and banging. I told you, watch out. I told you, don't go nowhere. Can we see a hand from all the drivers? Oh, they can't hear me. What am I saying? I see head movement. That's a good sign. Out who it is. Jesse and, uh... It's Jesse Parmley and Michael Grosbeck. We're fighting for second at the time. Yeah, just run over that bumper. It's not important. Here's the replay, replay from Midwest Sheet Metals. Boom, big hit. Can't wait to see that one on TikTok. Just glad both drivers are okay. Yeah, big round of applause. Two top contenders. What a big hit. Thank you, Show Me Dirt and Midwest Sheet Metals showing us the replay on that one. My goodness. We have one lap in the books here of our Bomber A feature. James DeWitt in the 930, your current leader. Zach Riddick. I didn't see how he got out of that situation. Was he low? Let's we'll see that replay one more time here. So everybody's in a line. Parmalee goes to the inside, comes in just a little bit hot, and they go straight into the wall. Zachary Riddick able to get around him on that bottom side. Just make him go out of there. <laughs> 
All righty. Here we go. 14 to go. James DeWitt, your leader. Riddick and Hammer, row number two. Riddick looking to go to that top side. That'll put Hammer on his underseed. What is the underseed? Why did I say underseed? Do it. Cross them around three and four, looking for that Ozark Fiber restart zone. A green flag. Here we go. Three wide for that second spot. Daryl Riddick and Zachary Riddick going to be battling for second. Zach, Rick, Zach Riddick assuming that top spot. He's got James DeWitt in that 930 in his sights right in front of him there. All over his back bumper. Don't lift, my friend. Just keep her hammered. Speaking of hammer, we got hammer spin spun. He gets her back going again. We're going to stay green flag racing. I think you good, sir. Jack Hammer. Going to try to go three wide for the lead. Coming off of turn number four. They tuck her back in. Careful, sir. You're on camera. We're watching your every move. Zachary Riddick in the Z66 on the inside. James DeWitt on the outside. Riddick taking the lead here off of turn number four. James DeWitt with the crossover looking to the bottom side. Zachary Riddick, your leader, James DeWitt. Daryl Riddick, your top three. Ooh, a little slip up from Zachary Riddick. Zach Riedick in the Z66, your current leader still. James DeWitt in the 930. In that second spot, Daryl Rick looking to the underside. Eight laps to go here. Daryl Riddick looking on the bottom side of James DeWitt as they go down the back stretch. Side by side for that second spot. Riddick not going anywhere. Zachary Riddick still out front by 1.222. Daryl Riddick scored in that second spot last time by James DeWitt on his top side. Evan Powell running her way high there in that fourth spot. Going to be five to go this next time by. Zach Riddick in the Z66, your current leader, James DeWitt. Holding on to second for now. Daryl Riddick in third. Leader looking to get around Jack Hammer there. Jack not going to slow him down for very long. Right there in his back bumper, though. Daryl Riddick still on the bottom side of James DeWitt. Three to go here in your bomber A feature. Man, 
Daryl Riddick just not give it up, holding on for that second spot. These guys pitting right next to each other. Two to go here. As your leader makes his way down the back stretch. Daryl Riddick hoping that lap car of Hammer would have came a lot sooner. James DeWitt letting it all hang out on that top side. White flag coming out for your leader one more time around. Zachary Riddick out front. Nobody's going to touch him. It's the battle for second that we're watching as they make their way down the back stretch, neck and neck, nose and nose. Dill Riddick on the bottom side, James Dwight on the top side. Ladies and gentlemen, who's going to have it? Daryl Riddick getting around James Dwight on that last turn there. Making it stick, Evan Clark finishing fourth. Larry Johnson finishing in that fifth spot. And out front, the Z66 of Zachary Riddick catching his first win in his new charger. Now that will do it for all of our features. We'll have all of our feature winners come out to the front stretch. Y'all will get to take some pictures with them. Another good night of racing here at Mona Motor Speedway. We appreciate you, the fans, coming out and supporting us. We got A-Mods coming back next week, getting everything ready for a good night of racing on the 18th with the Heartland Modified Tour. Y'all be safe getting home, and we will see you next week.